Hey, hey, Scrapper Names fans, how are we all? Welcome back to another Arty Fun Friday video. And we're up to number 19. I'm doing a really fun, trial and error, messy art journal page. I haven't done something in my art journal page on here for a little while now. Uh, so I've got some Dilutions paint and I've just brushed it on using a sort of wide brush there. Uh, I think it's the Rose Quartz Dilutions paint that I've just... Just a thin coat, really, um, but you don't have to do too much with the Dilutions paint. It's pretty good that way. Uh, and I'm using some Jane Davenport. Now, just a bit of a disclaimer here. I'm going to go nuts with the Jane Davenport here. I am a huge Jane, Jane Davenport fan at the moment. Um, so I'm making a very, very rapidly growing collection of her goodies. And I'm just loving it. And I'm loving how this page ends up turning out just so you know so these are some of her collage papers that you can bold napkins i guess you could call them that you buy that you can buy in a big pack uh, so what i've done is just grab one out taken the backing off it and i'm just ripping it up into random bits and pieces using some matte gel medium and am gluing them down so as you can see here some big chunks some thin chunks kind of just basically whichever way they rip almost um, and just trying to make sure that there's a bit of a, a bit of an even spread I guess without thinking too much about it now what I'm going to be doing so this is a bit of it is an arty it is an arty video so it's very mixed media -y. Um, but I'm going to be using some of her as I said Jane's products so what I've got here is one of her what's called power pastel crayons um, and I'm going to be drawing a, or sketching, drawing, whatever, a face, basically, um, and head, hair, all those sorts of things. Now, by no means am I an artist. This is my very first sort of attempts at drawing. Uh, you can see on the page to the right was a initial attempt. Now, that's using one of her face stamps, uh, some of her other collage papers and bits and pieces. Um, this is now using some more of her product. Uh, including these power pastels this is sort of the first time I've really properly used them this is what they come in I'll just sort of flush that up for you and you probably see them a little bit what's going on with my camera did I knock that do I oh, maybe the maybe I've moved my journal probably moves around a little bit while I'm trying to sketch draw whatever uh yes but i'm no artist by any stretch of the imagination um so this is me just going to give it a bit of a wing it and hope that it turns out which it does to me anyway as best as it can for the first attempt so i've drawn the initial shape of the or outline of the face as such and now i'm going to draw those the main sort of features um, which the nose is, and the eyes and eyebrows I think that's what I'm drawing uh, now I do have for reference her one of her books um, oh what's it called Be beautiful faces no beautiful figures or fabulous figures maybe I can't remember now uh, if you want to know, leave me a comment and I will let you know exactly what it's called. But I'm sure if you just Google Jane Davenport uh, books, you will see there's, um, it's fabulous figures or something. Anyway, so it's got a bit of a, it's a really good guide to how to draw like figures. And then there's a whole section on drawing faces and it's very step by step. She's brilliant at how to draw. Um, and as I said, I'm not a drawer. I don't like art. I never did. Um, it was just something I'm not good at. And yeah, here I am. Uh, she makes it look so easy to do. And here I am. So loving it. Absolutely addicted to it at the moment. So yeah, so you can see here, I've started using her, uh, her I used the power pastels to create the outlines. Um, because they're not water soluble, they won't run when I decide to play with her, um, uh, what are they called, aqua pastels, which I will get out very shortly. And I will start playing around with those and the inks that she has as well. So I really go nuts. And some of it at times I think, oh, my God, I've ruined this. And I potentially probably think that in the end a little bit with some of the stuff I do in the background. 
but whatever. It's my art journal and I'm just fooling around with stuff, to be honest. I don't care. Well, I do care, but I don't care at the same time. So that's some incredible inks you can see there in those jars. Uh, if Again, if you're not familiar with Jane Davenport, she is very all artsy and mixed media -y. Um more than not scrapbooky in any way um as i said it's i've i got into it because the lovely adele toomey aka inky quill uh uses it in some of her scrapbooking but a lot in her mixed media um and and i just thought i really love the look of it and um i come across jane davenport on youtube and just started watching her one day and she really explains things so simplistically and it just yeah i just fell in love from then on and she's just brilliant and a wonderful personality to just watch so yeah anyway so she has these incredible inks um which again are a bit watery uh, active kind of thing they're not watercolor they're an ink um so I've used that, here we go, I've used the blue in her eyes, in my lovely little person's eyes here, and I'm going to use this colour for her face. Um, so it won't run and clash with the pastels too much, the, aqua, um, the power pastels. And I'm using, she also has a, a three mermaid brushes, she calls them, because I've got the mermaid's tails. Um, and they're three different sh um, shaped brush heads as well. So I'm using, this is the second one, type one. One's a real thin, pointy type end, and then this one's a bit more flat type and then there's another one um, and they're really really easy to use they're very smooth I quite like them considering they're just to me originally they were just like paint brushes I was like I'm not paying for paint brushes but so well worth it absolutely worth it I love it and I give the tips here a go as you can see I'm, I've kept this all in so you can sort of give an idea about especially if you're toying with the idea of Jane Davenport like I was in that I've come across it through scrapbooking not because i by any means am in the artsy world um i came across it through inky quills mixed media and scrapbooking and fell in love that way so if you're watching this and i'm like and a bit like me and i'm not too keen on that sort of side of the world of crafting and yeah you might see it and go Ooh, okay and trust me if i can do it most people can because i don't have that sort of arty kind of bone in my body here I am so and as I said I'm very addicted to it I absolutely love it so I've just got my first watercolor palette of hers paint palette um I oh, just can't wait to use it and the smooth markers so as I said my collection of her things are growing so I'm going to have to find a shelf rearrange my my Ikea shelves maybe this long weekend and uh, find a a chain shelf I think <laughs> but yes so I'm using the incredible inks here to create a flow of beautiful locks here um, uh, yeah so just different colors using the ends of the, brush, uh, the mermaid brushes to give some different texture through her hair um, yeah just to just to give just give things a go really <laughs> nothing no real rhyme or reason i'm just mucking around uh just playing around with some lip color here this is where i use i just thought i kept this in i do use the aqua pastel here so i just sort of wet my brush end and then just as you can see here there's the aqua pastel in my hand it's like a little crayon and just brush the end and uh dip the end of my brush onto the end of the crayon and just move it around the lips now this bit doesn't quite go according to plan but i do play around with it um i try and give the cheeks a bit of color and i accidentally rub off some of the ink the incredible ink color that is her skin tone um but it's all a learning curve so you can see me doing it and i learned that that didn't quite work so i sort of 
try and fix it by coloring it in this way uh, and using my finger to rub it a little bit and then getting some more water onto it and eventually I managed to smooth it out a little bit by using um, the paintbrush here with some water on it and then I think I come in once it's dry and I use the blender in the power pastels to blend it in a little bit too I think I sort of tried a bit of everything to be honest I used some of the white power pastel I used some of the blending so you get a blender crayon as well in the power pastels to help sort of blend it all in like it colors through each other really well um, <clears throat> So I think I mucked around a little bit with that as well. I took all of that out when I edited because I thought you don't necessarily need to see that. I'll just explain it to you. Um, I used this red color power pastel here to draw that heart. And then I am using the yellow aqua pastel here with some water to create the yellow on the inside. Uh, as I said, the power pastels aren't all, don't seem to be all that water reactive. So I knew that the water wouldn't sort of seep out of the heart or react with the red, uh, which was really cool. So I knew that, it, yeah, they wouldn't sort of meld into each other and become this hot mess of water and crayon and all that sort of in between. So as I said, I just literally was experimenting on this page, but I thought I'd share it with you guys, my little experimentation, especially if you're toying with the idea of this sort of, this sort of side of mixed media and artsy sort of stuff because, hey, I did. <clears throat> and I'm happy to share that with people. Now, what I've got here is the blender um, crayon piece from the Power Pastels I was just talking about, and it creates a resist um, kind of technique to your page, which is what I'm about to do here with the incredible inks. I've drawn some patterns on, and I'm going to, yeah, drop some inks here of different colours over where I know that I have done yeah the resist pattern with the blender as i said some things were an experiment that i may not necessarily like right now but you know what again it's my art journal it's not up for anyone to see it's not like a scrapbook album where someone's going to be these memories this is just for me and so some more different colors of the inks I've been collecting the inks first more so than anything else um, and they actually they smell really nice so And just playing around so really making that background happen but making sure my girl doesn't sort of fall into it a little bit and just using some of the paint pens now to color in and add some more detail to her eyes and and whatnot What else do we got happening? Oh, I think I go a little bit nuts with the paint over pens. So these again are Jane Davenport paint over pens. I go a little bit cray cray with these. These are one of the first things I brought actually of hers. And I kind of again went a bit nuts with them. I sort of just decided to draw everywhere. Once I discovered that they worked really well on here, I just went nuts. Really, really nuts. But that's okay. I mean, why not? They worked. So she's now got long flowing blue kind of highlights happening in her hair now. Oh, and this. Well, you're best to just leave things well enough alone, Amy. And I didn't really do that. So I had to go back through and use the black power pastel, or the blackish kind of color pastel, to redraw some of my features because I had colored over them. So eventually I think 
the power pastels become a little reactive to things because when you add enough of something, it becomes reactive to it. Yep. But anyway, it's all good. Why well, I felt the need to add dots to her hair, I don't know. But, you know, I just went stupid with the paint pastel, the power paint over pants. <laughs> Do you ever find that when you, you know, you're experimenting with something and you're finding that it looks really like you think you're doing really well with something and then you look back now and you're just like, really? What stupid idea was that? Anyway, it's all good. It's done now and it's in an art journal and that's all I'm, I'm grace. That only you guys get to really see it. And I give her a nice little necklace here. And I think I'm nearly done. So I hope you liked this very different Arty Fun Friday video, something off the realm a little bit. And I might keep adding something different to this. Um, but here are some close ups. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon. Hopefully, this will go up on a Friday. Bye.